Yo, what's going on YouTube? Just JK and welcome back to my channel for another GTA 5 video and in today's video is going to be another mod showcase and as you can see it is going to be on the Ford Mustang Hoonigan which is obviously one of Ken Block's drift cars and this looks fucking insane. So if I just jump out of here in a minute you can see how fucking crazy this car looks. It looks so good. So if we can quickly go into... What are we going to go into? We're going to go into the Spooner and we're going to go into Spooner mode so we can actually have a little look around the inside of this car and you can see the interior and all its detail and it looks amazing just look at that man it looks so good and one thing I would like to say is this car also comes with a um, drifting handling file which is fucking crazy and I'm going to show you that in a, just a moment I'm pretty sure this hasn't got any customization unfortunately we're going to quickly go into LS Customs and just have a little look just to double check and as you can see as you pull in it does say Mustang GT Need for Speed 2013 so I'm assuming this model has been pulled from Need for Speed but anyway we're going to quickly do the armor we're going to do the brakes and the engine we're going to upgrade all that we're going to do the lights as well why the hell not we'll go ahead uh, for the plate hasn't even got a plate okay for the suspension I'm gonna leave it how it is because I don't want that to affect the handle in any sort of way we are going to add the transmission the turbo tuning and the wheels we're just gonna leave the same as well but we can change them if we would like to I don't know why you'd like to because obviously it's a Hoonigan it is a you know a particular car I don't see why you'd want to change anything to it anyway so I'm not overly surprised that there isn't any other customization to this vehicle we've also got window tint but no windows Oh, okay, so it t tints the front window. The rear window we usually get tinted, but the front window I don't think usually tints on normal cars, so that's a bit strange. So yeah, like I said, not in the mu not much in the way of customization, but why would you want a shit ton of customization on a vehicle like this? Because the only reason you'd download this mod is obviously because of the type of vehicle that it is. So what we're going to do now, I'm not going to go on the streets it's just yet. I'm going to drive us down to the airport and... Um, I'm going to try and showcase a little bit of the drifting. I haven't practiced all that much in it yet, so it's going to be <laughs> a challenge, let's put it that way. So anyway, we're going to get into the airport and I'll be back with you. So here we go, guys. I am now at the airport and what I'm going to do now is just quickly demonstrate how quick this car is. I did go for a little drive before, just on like the streets. And overly, the streets are quite busy. Hopefully that cop's not coming for me. What have I done? I haven't even done anything. Them cops must be coming for me. Hang on, let me just get rid of them. Right, so now the cops are gone. <laughs> like I was saying, um, I was driving this around the busy streets and it kicks like a bastard, man. It is so quick. I don't know what the mod has actually done to this vehicle, but it is ridiculously fast. I haven't put any sort of torque mods or um, horsepower mods or anything on this myself. I've literally just downloaded it, installed it, and also installed the handling file, which I just assumed was a drifting file um, which obviously makes it drift like a bastard as well it's really hard to handle but it is so quick it is crazy that's why I've bought it for a little straight um, because if you try and go quick in this you put your boot down and you try and turn <laughs> yeah you're spinning out for damn sure so what I'm going to just quickly demonstrate is how quick this vehicle is so we're at the, with the airport like you already know we're as far back on the runway as we possibly can be without touching the grass so we're just going to go all the way down to the other end and keep an eye on my bottom right hand side and see the speedo and see what sort of what sort of speed we can hit i'm pretty confident we can hit at least 180 so we'll go put our boot down and find out so here we go so we add a little bit of wheel spin i'm going to try not to turn the wheel if i can help it because it just spins out as soon as it turns a tiny bit so we go 150 160 go on keep going 170 Let's go. I can hit it I can hit it oh my fucking word <laughs> oh dear so I think we hit 175 but that was that was still going if we had a bit more of a straight that was going to keep going and going and going um, so yeah 175 miles per hour man that is insane so we'll have a quick do quick to do we'll have a quick to do now and see if we can do some little bit of drifting. It is really difficult. It takes some getting used to. I have had a little play with it already. So, but you can just see. Look at that for drifting, man. That is fucking insane. How it drifts so easily. 
um, and this is gives you a sort of idea of why it would spin out at such high speeds if you just turn it just slightly because the drift and handling on this is just it's ridiculous you put it to the side and it'll slide there's no it's like they've taken all the traction away from it and you can't you definitely can't go fast around corners in this if you want to drift but it is you know it's quite easy when you get used to it if you when you once you know how to handle it you can't oh, I've just hit the brake like I was about to say you can't really use the brake on this you've literally just got to tap the accelerator and then try and take it round um, so what we're going what we are going to do we're going to try and risk it now we're going to try and take it out onto the streets and see how I get on drifting around the traffic as well but see if I hold my fucking finger down it just wheel spins. See that, Matt? Fucking hell. You just see the wheel spin on it. It's insane how quick this car is. The torque on it is fucking out of this world. So, what way are we going to go? We're going to we're gonna take it up here, I think. We've got to find somewhere where it's actually going to be half decent to drift. Um, what about, we'll, we'll try this corner here where that orange car has just gone. Nope. Lost it. That's, that's so difficult. Oh no. I'm stuck on a bush. No. What have you done, you div? <sighs> Fuck me. Right, just had to respawn out again. So <laughs> this time, let's hopefully, we'd not get caught on a bush. Let's just take it around here quickly. Have another little bit of a practice. Because, like I said, even though I've tried and tried and tried to get the hang of this, when I think I have got the hang of it, it completely takes me off guard. And then we have already seen what happens that sort of shit happens just just holding it down for a split second too long pulling the brake in too hard or even pulling the brake in at all and it'll just throw you off course so even though this is really fun to drive it is really difficult to drive at the same time um but you know it's that's one of them things we don't get any of these cars in gta oh here we go there's a bit of a drift there's a bit of a drift there we go that's a bit nicer so um when it works it looks awesome but it's really hard to get it to work because, like I was saying, it just wants to go sideways all the time because it's just got so much power. You push your uh, accelerator down too much, you're spinning out for damn sure. All right, let's try it around here. And then left. Oh, that's a bit better. That was a bit better, Jake. Give yourself a pat on the back for that one. Oh, I'm now going into oncoming traffic. What am I doing? What are you doing? I don't even know where to go. Here we go. Let's try it around it. Oh, oh no, we hit the post. What about down here? Let's go down here. Drift it, drift it, drift it, drift it, drift Oh no, you just spun around. That was fucking shit. The cars are it's just really busy. Why is it so busy? Never this busy, but when I want to drift on the road, it is packed. Chock a block. Let's 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 drift around there. Let's do it. Yeah, that was a bit better. And this one. And this way. There we go. That was a bit better. And this way again. Hey! Scraped the car a little bit. Oh, you had to get in my way. You had to pull out, didn't you, you bastard? What about around this way? See, when it goes your way, it actually looks really good. There we go. There's a bit more drifting going on there. Oh, I've gone into a dead end now, haven't I? That's bollocks. <laughs> so, yeah, guys. This car is a lot of fun to drive it's a lot of fun to play around with so if you'd like to go and download it, i will leave the link in the in the description down below it is definitely worth a download if you can get your hands on it because even though how even though how difficult it is to uh, to handle on the other hand it is really really fun and um at the minute i'm a little bit under pressure because obviously i'm making a video whilst doing it but um you know if you just <laughs> get hold of this car you ain't got no pressure just let the reins go and and just fucking flee around Los Santos, drifting around, picking up speeds of like 175 miles an hour. And uh, yeah, it's a lot of fun. Oh, go on. Let's go on here. See if we can see what sort of speed we can hit before we crash into something. Just real quick, just to finish the video off. What are we at? What are we at? So I've got a turn, I've got a turn. And it just wants to spin. This is a little bit more intense. Oh, God. No, see what I just can't turn because if I if I do that, it just goes sideways. Get a bit of traction in you. Get a bit of traction. Here we go. This is a little bit better. We'll be at 150. It wants to go more. It wants to go more. No, oh, fuck! Did I just wreck that guy on that bike? 
Seems like wreck that guy on that bike. But anyway, guys, that is going to be the end of the video. Hope you guys did enjoy this new mod showcase video. Uh, only my second on my channel. The last one was the Need for Speed Ford Mustang, uh, Shelby Ford Mustang. If you want to go check that out. Um, but yeah, this is the obviously the mod showcase on the Ford Hoonigan. Uh, the drift car from Ken Block, and as you can see, it is very capable of drifting. I'm just not very good at it, and it is really, really quick. So, if, like I said, if you want to go download it, it is going to be in the description below the link that is. So, go and check it out, download the hell out of it, and fucking uh, give it a go. It's a lot of fun. But, like I said, guys, that is going to be the end of the video. Hope you guys did enjoy. If you did, please do hit that like button. Fuck you. And if you haven't already, want to subscribe to my YouTube channel for more GTA 5 content. And until next time, guys. I'm out. Uh, adios.